we're gonna see what this bad boy can do. Okay, we're gonna hold that thought. I've just been summoned to go to do farm work. If I didn't tell you any different, you'd think I was at the beach, wouldn't you? <laughs> we're on the Bernard Beach. Making myself useful. Have you hugged a post today? Hey y'all back in the kitchen. Um, so here's a thing, a whiny dog and an Instapot. An Instapot showed up at my house recently. Thank you to the viewer that sent me an Instapot. So I guess I'm going to try to figure this thing out since it's here. We're here together. We're going to try to figure this out. It is late in the day. I forgot to take any meat out to thaw, so I'm actually gonna use frozen meat. We're gonna see what this bad boy can do. Um, I chose a recipe, Eeny Meeny Miny Mo, Easy Chili Colorado Smother Burritos. Sounds good, because I can use stew meat, and that's what I have an awful lot of left. I'm out of hamburger. I'm out of hamburger for another two to three weeks when we get our meat back. So, I'm gonna try this. It sounds easy. I'm just worried about this thing blowing up in my face, in our house, all the things that can happen with these pressure cookers. I've heard all the horror stories. And so I've just, I'm just stuck to my easy peasy slow cooker, but I don't have time to do the slow cooker. So I figured while I have it, I would give it a try. So we'll see. Stay tuned. I will let you know shortly. So first, I have to figure out where the plug goes. Where are you? Are you here? There you are. So, and I'm not really good at following directions. I just want to do something. I just want it to work. And it looks like it's, it looks like it's not gonna be hard. So, I'm gonna try this. Plug that plug in. Okay, good. It's off, that's good. I'm. See, all these buttons, they just intimidate me. All the buttons. I don't like a lot of buttons. I just want to, like, on and off. Mm, pressure cook. I think that's the one I'm using. Pressure cook. It just says to put this stuff in there and push pressure cook for 30 minutes. That is probably for thawed out meat, though. We'll see. Okay, we're going to hold that thought. I've just been summoned to go to do farm work. So, we're really going to give that thing a try later. Okay. Going to check on the boys. And that, y'all, I mean, I'm pretty sure that's rain. Looks like rain, don't it? It's weird looking. It's very windy. Very windy. Wind is picking up. Let's see what's going on. He's trying to get the dozer going. Still no luck. I'm trying to dissect. Not sure what's wrong with it. It's cold, isn't it? <laughs> it's like, it's really dropping. It's cold, it's dropping. Maybe it goes to fur. Mm-hmm. Ain't no phone no Trying to find a solenoid. Gus jumped up here and said he wanted to help. Right, Wish you could. Okay. okay, so the start fuse is not working. I could have something to do with it, maybe. You would think if it said start and it's blown, it wouldn't work. What do you think? This is how you get on? Yeah. 
started so that's good and it was at, at evidently something very simple something very simple so isn't that the way that goes sometimes anywho but it was too windy to do what he needed to do anyway so he's gonna work on that tomorrow hopefully I will be back in time to catch some of that action I am on my way out of town for the night I I showed this last year but I'm heading to Raleigh North Carolina to photograph the get your rear in gear yeah that's the name of it um race walk run fundraiser for colorectal cancer awareness research all the things i will be staying at my friend marley and matt's house marley is a cancer survivor and i absolutely love getting to do this every year it's one of the only times of the year I really get to see her and spend some time with her. And it's a great cause, great people doing doing great things. So that's where I'm headed right now. And then I'll be back on the farm, probably by lunchtime or so. And we'll see what else, see what we can do. See what we, see what kind of dozing we can get done. Sounds funny to say dozing. Not sleeping, not hardly. Wow lake can you see it it's choppy that's Heiko Lake in Person County it is so windy crazy <laughs> it's like a little girl driving it's a little girl driving <laughs> Okay, as magic of video has it, I'm back with the Instapot, but it's been two, two or three days since I last tried because that evening, a neighbor Jim, our awesome neighbor Jim, who brings all the vegetables in the summer, brought barbecue from down east uh, where he was working. So we ended up having that instead, <laughs> and I was out of town last night. So here I am. We're going to try it now, and I'm actually going to leave it. I'm, oh, it makes a noise. Listen. It sings. I didn't know it would do that. Anyway, okay, that's odd. I have to get used to that. Um, so I'm going to put some beef, what do I have beef tip? I have beef tips. I'm going to put them in there with some beef broth that I had left over and probably some black label. <laughs> maybe a dash of a red label and um, I'm gonna let it cook and then we're gonna use it for burritos and we're just gonna start we're gonna start slow and easy see how this goes if you have an instant I, I've been calling it an insta pot but evidently it's an instant pot I I've been leaving the tea off the second tea anyway if you have any great recipes you want to share feel free let me know oh can I show you something else Yes, I can, because this is my channel. Hold on. Look at that. Don't be afraid of taking whisks like this. This is a utensil holder. Handcrafted, handmade in the great U.S. of A. And it's in my store right now for you to buy. It's one of a kind, and you need it in your life. So go check that out, thisfarmwife.com. Look under the ceramic and drinkware section. And a new butter dish. It says spread butter, not hate. And mugs. This one is sold out. There's more being made. Farm Hard Live Well sold out, but I have Ranch Hard Live Well and um, yeah, more coming. So anyway, there you go. There's your commercial. The only commercial today is a commercial for me, for my store, on my channel. Does that count as a commercial? Probably so. That lady right there, that's my mom. Have I ever told y'all that? Yes, I have, but it's been a long time. There's a lot of new faces. That was my mom. 
she passed away June 13th, 2001. She was only 50. It was very, it was way too young. And I miss her. But I love having her over my shoulder every time I cook. And that was taken the night before she passed away. So, anyway, I just felt like sharing that again. Yeah. Hug your babies. Love your people. Tell them you love them. Because we just never know. We just never know. We just never know when um, it's going to be the last time. I'm not going to cry. I'm going to cook some stew in the Instant Pot. Okay. Okay, my meat is half frozen. But I think you're supposed to be able to do that since it's the Instant Pot. And <laughs> I'm just eyeballing it. I'm going to get wild and put some of this in now. Red Label. Alright, maybe a little more. Ward says... When you think you've put enough, put more. So, Ward, he's the owner. He's the master seasoning maker, chef, master of the musket powder. Musket powder master, that's what he is. Okay. And in true Marty fashion, because I'm in a hurry, I just made a mess. This has been congealed, if you want to call it that, in the refrigerator for a little while. And I pressed down on the fat on the top and it splattered everywhere. So that's how it rolls around here. I'm just gonna put this in here because I feel like <laughs> I, it, might, it might be too much, might not be enough, but it's gonna give it good flavor too. I feel sure it is anyway, we'll hope. Okay, if you've been here for more than two minutes, you know I just don't really like recipes. I mean, I don't like following recipes. I like doing my own thing. It's just what I do. There is a recipe in here for easy chili Colorado smothered burritos. I may have already told y'all this. I can't remember what I said two days ago. I can't even remember what I did two hours ago. Anywho, it calls for three pounds of rump roast. We're not using that. We're using beef tips. 16 ounces of enchilada sauce. Pretty sure I don't have any enchilada sauce. Two beef bouillon cubes. I'm not using that. I'm using actual beef broth. Half a cup of water. I don't need that because I actually have the broth. That's all it calls for. And it just says to cook it for 30 minutes. And use a, when it turn off, when it beep sounds, turn off pressure cooker and use a natural pressure release for 10 minutes. Oh, I thought I could just let it cook. But I have to be here when it cuts off. I'm thinking, thinking what to do. I'm thinking maybe I'm just going to let it sit here and I'm going to do this later when I get back. I'm going to see what he's doing with the dozer and I want to get some footage and see what's going on. And my girl is with him and I don't know that she wants to stay out there the whole time. So, okay, we're going to hold this and I'm going to try it when I get back. I'm probably not going to do any more following other than the 30 minutes. Or I'm going to put it on. There's an actual button that says meat and stew. So that should work. Don't you think? It's stew. It's meat. Okay. We'll try it. It's going to be enchilada meat without the enchilada sauce. We're just going to make it. We're just going to make it what we want to make it. Maybe we won't even put it in a burrito. Maybe we'll just put it over some rice or something. I'll figure that out later. Man, it's a pretty day. 52, sun shining. That little hay field is greening up, y'all. I'm just ready to be back out there again. I really am. Itching. Itching to be in the hay field. Stinks when you have to be your own gate boss. lazy. Well, I missed, I missed the part. I missed the pal that I was going to get that I showed y'all the other day. I'm always running behind here lately, y'all. Shuckers. Got some good help. My boy 
Our boy is at a youth camp with church this weekend. So Austin, Austin's getting to do all the fun stuff. <laughs> if I didn't tell you any different, you'd think I was at the beach, wouldn't you? <laughs> We're on the Bernard Beach. drawing in the sand. Look, there's the face, the body. Woo, oh, look at its feet. That's good. <laughs> Let's see. That was good. <laughs> Woo, that's good. Y'all, she has no formal training. So I'm saying she's doing really great. <laughs> I mean, really. I mean, I couldn't do it. All sorts of things wash up out of the river, that's for sure. A McDonald's stroll. <laughs> more eroded it's it's really bad it's really not good hmm she would give me up the river for letting you be out here barefoot but you're only a kid once y-o-k-one y-o-k-o yoko not yolo but yoko you don't even know what i'm talking about <laughs> making myself useful holding the post up so he can go under it She is seriously having too much fun. She put her socks back on, so I guess that's better. Hello. You love this. Oh my goodness. Oh well. This is called making lemons out of lemonade. I mean, no, making lemonade out of lemons. Making when life lemonade. gives you lemons, make lemonade. When what life gives you flooding, you get sand and play with it. You play in the sand. <laughs> Oh my soul. Well, she ought to sleep good tonight. <laughs> I don't know if y'all are having fun watching this, but it's about all I got today. It's coming in from a different direction now. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of sand. When he starts pushing it like this, it makes it look even deeper. I mean, it, it just makes it look like even more. <sighs> <laughs> Just having a blast. Okay, I'm gonna head back to the house and get supper going. 
He's only gonna go a little bit longer. But it sure looks like he could go for a very long time out there. It's a really, it's a big field. Well, I think it's a big field. He said it's a small field compared to, <laughs> compared to out in the Midwest or something. It's 20 some acres. But that's a lot of, that's a lot of room for a lot of sand. That's what I'm saying. Neighbor Jim has been tearing up his tobacco ground. Okay, I just put it on 30 and just left it alone and it started. I'm assuming it did anyway because it says on. So, we'll see what happens. Alright, let's go feed Elmo and the sheeps. I know it's sheep, y'all. I just like saying sheeps. It's dark. Our light bulbs are all burnt out. So that's not good. I'm gonna have to use a phone phone light. <laughs> okay, I just flipped the switch. It scared me at first. I didn't video it. <laughs> but we are releasing the pressure. Let me see what we have. Okay, here goes nothing. Close, open. The little, the little valve is down, so I'm pretty sure that means it's safe. Okay. Okay, it didn't blow up. There's the meat. I might have put too much stuff in it. Let's see. Is it done? Well, I mean, I think it's done. It's not like fall apart though. I think it could have been done more. And so I'm gonna learn. Sweet.